My name is Dan Bout, and I serve as the Assistant Director for Response at the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Cal OES is responsible for all disasters that occur in California that exceed the locals' abilities to respond to them. Far and away, the biggest challenge we have as it relates to data in an incident is synthesizing data into information that's useful. So there's a huge potential for miscommunication. And as you get more and more data feeds, that becomes a more and more salient issue. Here is the latest on the breaking news we're following out of Northern California, a strong earthquake. Rock Parts of Napa got earthquake. hit hard, hammered by this quake early this morning. One example. The Napa earthquake example. truly showed us the power of visualizing information. The ability that we had at that time to create flat maps in a not so speedy way kind of showed a gap that we had in our ability to really visualize the information and get it out in a fast manner. You know, the people on the ground, they need the tools so that problems can be solved during activation, so resources can be deployed timely and effectively. So during the Napa earthquake, the decision was made to bring Esri in to kind of show us what is possible, you know, what capabilities they have. That was actually, I think, probably one of those key use cases for moving to a digital map. The ability to start seeing water leaks in real time and like, okay, when did that happen? Three minutes ago. That is something that you couldn't do with a paper map. We went from at best 5% of online products to 95%. And that actually happened in about, say, six or nine months of uh, the Napa earthquake. Now you have all the current data that's, that's available. And, and it may change as you're looking at it. And it's real time. You're looking at what's happening now, not what happened 12 hours ago. What they showed us that day during Napa earthquake was a story map. It's interactive. It allows us to take a look at the shake map, take a look at the shelters, take a look at whatever information that we're discussing. This allows us to be able to really give the decision makers what they need. GIS changed the way we do business. We now have the go-to products. We know that this is what we need to do as a requirement. So that would be part of our common operational picture. During the fires was the first time we really used the dashboards this year. And we were able to provide a visual of acreage burn, current damage assessments. The dashboard provides that snapshot. It saves time, you know, instead of somebody stopping in the middle of an operation to brief someone, they can just walk in, look at the wall, and see exactly what they want to see. One of the areas that I think we're deliberately going to move to is taking a tool like our GIS mapping capability and using that as a mitigation tool. Where I see us going is to get hooked up to every single county statewide. So when an event happens, we flip the switch on and absorb their data and then I can just visualize. The bottom line in emergency management is we are going to be successful. There's not a lot of trying involved. You have to make it work because it's, you know, it's people's lives, it's families, it's, it's their property. I mean, it's the things that are most core to our identity and, and, and to who we see ourselves as, as a nation. The technology is there and we know that it's available and we leverage to the best of our abilities. It's my dream come true. I mean, it's, it's great.